Good morning from Vienna to this very important conference. Important both because of its topic and its timeliness. Let me start by underlining one of the most crucial principles of any democratic society. Diversity of voices and pluralistic media. This includes active involvement and participation of women. And while this holds true at all times, it becomes even more crucial in times of conflict or crisis. We know that the lasting peace, sustainable development and comprehensive security can only be achieved with meaningful participation of women. Today, I want to focus on two specific and very relevant problems the spread of hate speech and disinformation. Both phenomena are not new, but they gain momentum over the last years. Both are genuine threats to the right to freedom of expression and freedom of the media, especially in the online environment. And both have a significant gendered dimension. It is widely known that hate speech and disinformation disproportionately target women who are active in the public domain. Bullying, threats, smear campaigns, gendered disinformation and verbal attacks directed at women often lead to the exclusion of women. My office has been continuously working to assist states in their efforts to improve safety of female journalists online. Also, in the most recent joint declaration on freedom of expression and gender justice, the four international free speech mandate holders address gender-specific restrictions on expression and online violence against women. These challenges should be addressed based on human rights and they should be addressed collectively. Although states are the primary bearers of the obligation to ensure human rights for all, private actors and business do share this responsibility. Our societies at large need to mobilize. Structural inequality barriers need to be removed and institutionalized gender discrimination genuinely addressed. Let's give peace a chance. Let's have more women involved. I remain deeply committed to this cause.